Hello everybody, we are back creating a new world. Um, pretty much the same as the process for the first one. So, um, for those who did not watch the previous stream, I lost everything that I had once again. And uh, we got a waterfall coming down. So, yeah. Um, I pretty much rage quit. And, um, you know, pretty much all the villages had been liberated anyway. So, I didn't think it would really be worth much to keep going. Um, it just didn't seem worth it to me. So, yeah. It's really high up. It's probably a hundred. Yep. get to know this world a bit um hoping there are villages nearby um but i'm not liking the seed um especially with these mountains there's not really much that i can do with these So, let me see, go over here a bit, no it's all just mountain. giant cave but um you know i'm just i'm really not digging this seed oh shit oh my god i'm gonna die so, yeah, um, screw that. We're not doing that. Why does it give me an option right there? Like, I press, there's either respawn or title screen. So I click title screen, and there's like, are you sure? Respawn or title screen. So I click title screen again. Like, what the hell? So let's go ahead and delete that. So, data packs. Why are these red? Incompatible? Made for an older version? So? Who cares? I don't. My gosh. This damn game. And now a word from our sponsor, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's hear that again. The game is broken, EA Sports. The game is broken. <laughs> uh, that never gets old. So there. Um. All right. Oh, we spawned in some trees in a dark oak forest. How nice. Whoa! Okay. I just fell. So... Okay. Now I can hear a lot better. Whoops. I just hit my monitor. Awesome. Yep, it sure is. Season 2, Episode 1. Exactly. I don't even have any wood. How can there be a new recipe unlocked? All right, we got chickens. So our goal for this world is going to be to live close to a village, protect that village at all costs, Make sure that the villagers do not get killed. So, yeah. Because we want to, um, because villages are very, very valuable resources. So, let's find a village. Whoops. Actually, let's make a copy of this world. Beat it against a skillet? Why would you do that? Why would you beat an egg beater against a skillet? That makes no sense. I don't care. Great. Not responding. Okay. Bring me back to the world. <clears throat> now I just need to, like, kill myself. Oh, here we go. Bees. Get me. Come on. Come get me. Bingo. 
What? Hit the ground too hard whilst trying to escape a bee. Okay. So, we've got that. So... Get out of here. Wait, hold on. So let's take a look around here. Okay, I am not... I don't like this world either, okay? It's just, this is way too high. Okay, I cannot work with this at all. Come on, Mojang. Man. This has gotten bad since Notch stepped away. There's just nothing but mountains. Okay, I'm going to have to go into like configuration or something. I'm not seeing any villages. It looks like it's just a giant island with nothing on it at all. This sucks. So, yeah, we're just going to Wait, no!
think I found one. There. Wait. Bonus chest, we're not doing that. Create new world, okay. So this seed is actually supposed to have a lot of villages in it. Let's go ahead and start punching wood. Tree chopper mod is so useful. Like honestly, why did they not incorporate that into the game? I feel like it's something that they probably had in the beta version of the game and took it out. seeing any villages so okay because I just want to see what we've got going on map or something. Turtle egg. Powder snow bucket? What? When did they add all that? There's nothing here as far as I can see. Uh oh. Tree is on fire. Soldiers. Oh my god. This is supposed to be a ton of villages. This is I just ugh. even with specific seeds, I'm not even having good luck.
No, not at all. Well, I'm sure this is fun for y'all to watch me struggle. So, hold on. This is just going amazing. Uh, I hate this so much.
think I found a good one. All right. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Okay, it actually worked. super loud. Hope he didn't hear my dogs. Hm. Here comes lava. Oh, surface lapis. Wow. Never see that. Turtle. Hold on a second, y'all. Hello? Warps. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. I had to go um, unlock the door for my sister. <clears throat> well, music definitely helps. It's almost like a prayer, you know? It's just like, ugh, better and soon. It sends a message, you know? Music has a very unique way of conveying what we fail to speak. Oh 
Oh wow, it's a bunch of turtles. My day was okay. Actually, I'd say it's pretty good. I'm gonna make a forest. sister just gave me my car key back so <laughs> I don't know how long she will be using it but um, she had a lot of damage done to her car so my girlfriend here I'm actually um, looking at um, seeing if I can um, get her to talk to her parents about um, going to see Chicago um, in September. So they're coming down here. And um, last time I saw Chicago, it was insane. Oh my god. It was so much fun. Here, I have materials for you. Thank you. What a deal. Alrighty. We've also got the same stuff. That's a. Oh, baby villagers. Okay. So anyways, I'm not sure if I said it in the last stream, or if I said it in this one, but I actually, hello Rock On, um, I actually went, wow, that cat just really took off. I went to Kane's to go eat, and since I didn't have my car, I took my dad's mountain bike, and um, there was a girl there who instantly recognized me from the time that I went through the drive through with my dad. My dad was driving, and, th and keep in mind, this was like a year ago, and she recognized me instantly, like as soon as I went in, which was crazy because I didn't, not only was I not wearing glasses anymore, but um, I also had a hat on, and my hair is quite a bit shorter, um, which is something I'm kind of embarrassed about, because it's not supposed to be this short, but... Um, yeah, she just instantly recognized me, and she was just a sweetheart, and um, she came up to me, or she went to the drink station to fill up her cup, because she was going on break, and um, she literally offered to drive me home, because I went there on the bike. She was like, you came here on your bike from Cibolo. I was like, yeah. Yeah. She was just like, wow, I, I definitely want to give you a ride home and see if your bike fix, bike fits in the, in my car. And um, I had to take the front wheel off, but we were able to get it. We were able to get the bike in there, and uh, she took me home. So, um, yeah, it was awesome. Whoa, that's a big tree. That's a big old tree. So, what I'm going to do is I am just going to start um, picking up clay. Um, magma. Yikes.
This is a pretty nice village. There are a lot of villagers here, so... We'll definitely, um, help. I just hope they all go inside when they hear that bell. Because if not, that's what's going to, um... Allow them to be, um, killed by the pillagers. Hi, kitty. Them cats are so cute. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna get some fish. Alright, oh, bone meal. Perfect. I forgot that you get bone meal from fish. You used to get bones from fish, too. The bigger ones. Um, but yeah, they changed it to bone meal, I guess. So I am going to go for that calico hat. Um, because it looks just like my calico. So... There you are. Here, kitty kitty. Here, kitty kitty. Oh, she even sounds like Cookie. Yes. Oh my gosh. I actually did it. And it only took one fish. So I can eat that one. And we're good. It's getting dark ish <clears throat> yeah okay dave it's getting dark ish it's gonna be cold i'm gonna build a fire we'll go in the morning no we'll go now hey hey uh, 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 uh. don't take that tone of voice with me dave so yeah wow these trees are starting to pop up that's good. Okay. I'm surprised you don't get bones out of other animals, just fish. And you wouldn't even think that fish have bones. I mean, bigger ones, yeah. Um, but other than that, I really don't know. Oh, and I can make a, um, I can make a ton of paper right now. I've got a bunch of this, um, because I got a bunch of sugar cane. So let's go find a bed to sleep. You gotta close your door, man. This bed's not, or this bed is empty. Here, kitty. Where are you, kitty? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Oh, she was on the bed before I was. I didn't even know that was possible. That's so cute. Where'd she go? Where'd you go? There you are. All right, so. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Like, I knew that they would sleep in the bed with you, but I didn't know they could go to the bed on their own. That is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Other than the foxes sleeping, um, that is... the cutest thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> I 
I did place these a bit close, so. <clears throat> so I've got plenty of wood here. But I'm going to live in the village for now. And this, punching all of this grass, getting me seeds, will help with their composting bins. Oh, watch out, kitty. I don't want to punch you. It'll help to clean up this field, too, so I can actually see where I'm going. Like, see, look how much better that already looks. Oh, I didn't even know you left. Having the water or the having the village surrounded by water will also help when it comes to raids. Because um then it's a bit harder for the pillagers to um, get to it. And I can also build um like a wall around it. So, let's go ahead and find a place. Huh, that's a funny looking tree. Oh, come on. Bing! What? Oh yeah, that's right. It sure is. That would be an awesome birthday gift for him, because I know how much he loves Chicago. And you know, he he's like... He's like exactly a year older than my mom is. My mom's birthday is September 18th. 
So he was born 364 days before my mom was. So, yeah. It'll definitely be good for mine, my mom, and your dad's birthday. I didn't even think about that. Wow. You can't beat that. <laughs> I love all the water. I want to build a semi-modern uh, looking house. I just need to find a flat area to build it. I think this, this can work. Lots of sugar cane. world I am going to use chests just because eh, it's just really not worth the effort and I have a tree chopper mod so it really doesn't make sense to just save one piece of wood by using barrels but the thing that confuses me more than anything is why is the crafting recipe different in Java like, it's different in um, Bedrock. It's made with six sticks and two slabs. That makes no sense to me. In Java, it's six blocks of wood and two slabs. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I can almost guarantee your dad will want to see Chicago. <laughs> Hi, kitty. I forgot about you. Let me sit you down. Let's get rid of these flowers. So I need to see exactly how I'm going to want to build. And it'll be right next to... Yep, there is a cave. So, it'll be good. And if there's like a um, a mob spawner right down there, I'll be able to make an elevator that goes down to it. So yeah. Um, let's go ahead and um, get going. To do another stream of me playing Mr. Blue Sky. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't played that song in a while. Um, especially on Instagram, because Instagram is like insane when it comes to like copyright. Like, if they get the slightest hint that you're using a copyrighted song, like, you will literally just, um, they will just stop your stream. Oh, my bad. I ain't got no 26 potatoes. 
So, yeah. Can I? Yes, I can. Wow, that filled it up a lot. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at how much um, the saplings filled up the compost bin. So, let's go ahead... Whoops. Get rid of that. Wait. Okay. That's how you get rid of that. So... Make a crafting bench. We're still playing with the Megamind skin. Wugga! 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 Oh! Not even five seconds into this cave, and I'm already being bombarded by skeletons. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Skeletons are deadly. Don't hit me. Get me, get me back up. Okay. That was close. I will... Oh, shoot. When did you say that? Uh... All? Um... Not right now, but I will call you in a little bit. Oh wow, there's a big field of sand right here, and there's like, wow, okay. So I won't have to do much mining for, oh wow, that's a lot of turtles, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven turtles right here. What are they all doing? So yeah, I can actually, oh wow these things it's an, a lion oh. these things are pretty cool looking I actually bought one off of a trader one time um, I was just like wow that is so cool because you can actually make it into um, yeah magenta and I need that so yeah I'm sure we came over there all right so Let's go ahead, and we will make, like, a, um, a storage uh, shed or something. I was hoping to go down in that cave and find a creeper, and it would blow up some stone, so I wouldn't have to go through the hassle of making a wood pickaxe and then using that, because it's incredibly slow. Like, I hate using wooden picks. Bingo, we got a creeper right here. Thank you. It only gave me one piece. Thanks. Bam! There we go. Six. I should have gotten it to blow up some iron. If I would have been able to even find any, but... We're all good, we got this. So... I'm chilling. We're chilling, man. Give me an upgrade. That's what I do. I'm a handyman. I do all of my things myself. I can upgrade everything by myself. Because, like, I don't prefer to buy things. I always prefer to make things. Wait. 
Let's find... Oh my god. There's a bunch of you. Yikes. Come over here, you nuts. Oh, there's four creepers following me right now. Come here! Stupid. Okay, creepers, these creepers at least, are done. Come on! Come on! Get over here! Thank you. I did that without a sword. Uh, By call, did you mean like you wanted to call on stream? And like, um... Just like, um... Talk to my viewers or... Know what's going on? Let me know. Let's go get kelp. Let's go get some kelp so I don't have to worry about getting it later. <clears throat> or mining coal. Ow, that hurt. Excuse that. Alrighty. First rain. We got our first rain in the world. First one in the world. There's also this that I. Yeah, I can definitely plant in here. Um, the only problem is, is I have to, like, actually, I could do it right there, or right here, even. So, oh yeah, there's that surface lapis that I found. Um... gonna work. Um, I really hate to do this, but I'm gonna use a piece of wood. Oh, wow. That's actually really efficient. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Oh, no. Come on. I took it out too early. Aren't I supposed to get an achievement for that? Wasn't I? Because I swear, when you get, um... When you use, um, charcoal to make more charcoal, it's like, oh, renewable energy. Like, that used to be an achievement, no?
I got here first, sucker. Ah, oh, damn it. I was here first. Also, y'all, make sure that um, when the play bar comes up for the video that shows full screen settings, pause, and the volume and stuff, make sure you click um, make sure you click live if the thing next to it is not red. Because um, otherwise, um, you put in a comment and you won't hear it red for like several minutes. Um, I've seen it happen before. So, anyway... Already growing. So, let's go ahead. And we'll throw this stuff in the furnace. Dry kelp. Help is actually really good to use as fuel. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, dried kelp will do wonders. At least the kelp blocks will. Now, something I don't understand. Why would you use a jukebox? Like, that's got a diamond in it. So, I have no clue why, of all things holy, you would use a jukebox. Because let me see if I can find it. And why would you use wool or carpet? Saw the note. Yeah, here it is. 1.5 items. A note block is more efficient than that. Actually, it's the same. But still, a jukebox? Seriously? Another storm. Another rain. Alright. See what else is going on down here. I do not have Gmod, no. As fun as it looks, um, I don't think there is any way my laptop could possibly handle that game. Once I get my PC back up and running, um, I will definitely have to look into Gmod, but for right now, um, no. Like, the only games that I've even attempted on laptop are Fallout 4 and Minecraft. That's it. I'll say, I'll, I'll tell you, something I wish we had here was RVMs, reverse vending machines, where you could, like, um, save up all your cans and stuff, and, um, like, get a deposit for it. 
that's something I wish we had in Texas, but it's only it's only done in like three states as far as I know. Oh wow, KONO FM is playing hard to say I'm sorry. So Are you able to use a single piece of dried kelp, or can you only use kelp blocks? This is actually pretty good. Scaffolding, it'll smelt two items. That is actually not bad at all. So, all right. Yeah, Chicago. I love Chicago. Y'all know this. <laughs> I actually had a video go up yesterday, me playing one of their songs. Ow! Get out of here! You bitch! Get, get out of here! Go down the water! get out of here too Ah, oh, you shot the zombie ow you suck I need a sword I swore that I would get one. I can see Peter singing in the music video of Hard to Say I'm Sorry in his goofy looking way. <laughs> My girlfriend, <laughs> she absolutely loves it. She absolutely loves the way that Peter Cetera sings, and it's hilarious. Like, I mean, how could you not like that? It is pretty damn funny. It's like he sings through his teeth, or like he did. Like, and he did that from the early 70s on Bingo. whoa 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 Bingo. whoa 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 Bingo. whoa 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 yikes That'll take four hits to kill him. Yeah, the only states that I know actually have ordinances that allow RVMs are New York and New Jersey. And maybe Georgia. I have no clue on that, though. Don't quote me at all. Because, I mean, not only is it good for recycling, but it's also really cool because, you know, you know, it's something I hadn't really heard of. So I was like, what's an RVM? Because I heard it in um, Felicia's live stream. I heard it in James Felicia's live stream. 
So I was like, what's that? And I looked it up, and I was like, oh, reverse vending machine? And then I see where he throws one glass bottle, where he's like, one glass bottle, and then it goes in the machine, and then you hear it, you hear it shatter, and it's, oh my god, it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. Ow. I'm not looking to die. Oh no! Damn it. I should have brought my cat. I should have brought you. But it's my fault. It's my fault I died. Yeah, even if a creeper is in water, you will die in um, normal difficulty. Like, that's the bullshit right there. Like, I wish Greg Abbott would, um, you know, at least allow an ordinance for RVMs. Damn it. I just lost that piece of iron. Whoa! Would have fallen down there. I'm gonna have to get more food before I come back down here. This is a pretty good cave. Like th th this is this is good. <laughs> so yeah. Give me some coal. Because it's also a good source of XP. As I always say. Yeah, I'm almost out of food. So... Something else I wish we had was um more westinghouse elevators tractions too especially the tractions traction westinghouses are my favorites to ride and i haven't been on many i've been on maybe three or four and that's it those being the embassy suites northwood tower marriott river center oklahoma tower or, uh, no, that's Corporate Tower. Don't know if I'm missing any. Yeah, I guess it is just four. Like, I mean, they're, they're hard to come by, you know? Especially the ones that actually have Westinghouse fixtures. And that. Thank you. So, yeah. Seems 
Montgomery Vector, those are another, um, especially traction, Montgomery Elevators, those are so much fun to ride also. Especially the, um, the freight elevator at the San Antonio Public Library, um, that one was a lot of fun. It goes way faster than the ones at the Alamo Dome. <laughs> the main elevators at the Alamo Dome are fast too. Like it, I swear, it felt like they went like 500 feet per minute. They go, they only go like 350, but it's still, it's blazing. Like those will, those will move you. Get shovel going. Oh, shit. I do understand why these building owners mod their elevators, like especially Autotronics. Westinghouse is not so much, um, but Autotronics, 100%. Hell, anything old Otis, because Otis has been making stuff, um, they've been making their components as proprietary as possible forever. So like, even their vacuum tubes, um, you can't even pull, um, vacuum tubes off the shelf um, like you have to use their vacuum tubes and um, so yeah oh perfect rose bushes I need these Storms. Wow. Hmm. Do I have any flint? No, I do not. Should be easy enough to get. There we go. And we are going to build a shed. We're going to make it out of stone brick. So I like stone brick. So, oh yeah, let's make a hoe too. Jeez. Huh. 
right here would be the perfect place to make a garden. Alrighty. Hold on, I have to go deal with something, y'all. I apologize. I will be back in just a bit. I am back. Whoa. Good thing my cup was empty. Damn. 
don't have any string. Oops. Come here, farmer. Or mason. Help them out, because they've helped me out. Potato. Got quite a bit of brick now. understand how they do this garden like they put everything in random places like this is like <laughs> there's potatoes and then carrots right here like it makes no sense at all I have a wheat farm, so I can definitely help them with that. Yeah, I spent most of this stream just, like, goofing off and trying to find, um, you know, a good seed to make a world in. I do not have a lot of dirt either. Damn it. This will be just enough to fill the half at least. And I'm going to steal your bed again. Fucked. 
Nazi. Woo! Did you get to hit me? And why did I not get XP from that? Ooh. Still can't believe I saw a left-handed skeleton. That was crazy. I've never seen that before. Or I have, and I just didn't notice. But yeah, it was just the fact that I happened to notice. I took an arrow to the back of the head. Look at that. Oh well, yeah, so I got to listen to a very interesting uh, interview recently. And um, <clears throat> it was basically Ken Valdez. If you've ever listened to the Ken Valdez approach, I definitely recommend it. Um, he, he's amazing. And he sounds like he takes a lot of speed. He it sounds like he does speed. But um, he, he's he's pretty cool, and um, he has quite a kinship with um, a guitar player named Dwayne Bailey. And I'm a big fan of Dwayne Bailey. Um, he's just an amazing guitar player. And um, he was actually in Chicago. Um, I'm sure that doesn't surprise any of you that um, I would come to like him, of all people. And um, honestly, he's really very underrated. And there are, um, there's a lot of beefs that people have with him, because, like, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, he was in Bob Seger, um, his band, he was with him, and then the beginning of 86, he found out that he was no longer with Bob, which was news to him. Um, so, yeah, it's quite crazy, because, um, Bob Seger from Detroit, and, um, you know, Chicago, um, they're, they're pretty close together, and, um, you know, he was right in the middle of both of those bands, and, um, you know, basically... Um, the way that he got um, into Chicago was um, from uh, was because of Jason Chef, who um, played bass in Chicago for thirty years, which is an insane amount of time. Let alone, um, you know, the original members who have been for fifty six. Um, still, it's. A lot and it takes a lot to be able to do that for that long um, it's a long time hope y'all didn't hear that the dogs 
going crazy. So, anyway, um, yeah, um, so he, uh, Ken Valdez basically said that he was at a Chicago show in 1992, and then he went to another one in 1994, and the first one, he was sitting right in front of him, he was like, front row, um, and they were very close to the audience in Santa Fe, and then he saw him again in Albuquerque. <clears throat> and um, after the show in Albuquerque, um, he saw him after the show and they wanted to go backstage. Or he took them backstage. And um, he was with his friend Stacy. And this was at the Albuquerque show. This was um, a couple of years after the first show. And, um, he, they were, they just started talking, and, um, he mentioned that the night before they were in, they were doing a show, he thought they were in Arizona. No, I've never heard of that, actually. But he said that the night before, um, or, or, let me go back first, actually, <laughs> because I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, Dwayne always liked, um, putting his guitar out to the crowd and, um, letting them feel the electricity of what he was feeling. And, um, he thought it was funny that he said that to him. And he was like, we're incredibly close to the audience here in Santa Fe. I want to go jump in their lap. And he didn't do that, but... There were times where he would take his guitar off and hand it to people. And um, in Chicago, he actually did not do that. That was one of the few nights where he didn't do that because he got in trouble for doing that um, whenever he did do it. And um, <clears throat> they, when they got to the encore, um, he had his guitar with him and they were taking the bow. And I know exactly how it happened. He was holding it by the neck, and um, some person in the audience um, grabbed it, and it started a huge brawl. And um, he said that you would have been insane, like absolutely out of your mind, to hand a guitar to that crowd because they were out of their minds. And that was in their, that was in their freaking hometown of Chicago. And, like, when they play their hometown, it's insane. All their families come, and their best friends come, and Dwayne was just like, you want to talk about being embarrassed and humiliated? I just wanted to go hide under a rock. And um, their manager, Howard Kaufman, was there that night, and he read him the riot act because they can get sued for that stuff. Um, it caused a huge brawl, and a woman who was under a human pile of people um, was actually injured in all of that, um, with minor injuries, but he had to go backstage, the manager came and got him, and they're like, look, I need you to go apologize to her, and he did uh, uh, profusely apologize to her. So, yeah, in their hometown, um, that happened, and that was in 94, that was his last year with them, and he said that he thinks it, it has, it had a lot to do with it being his last year with them, because they already had a lot of beefs with him, from the clothes he wore, and the thing with Stone of Sisyphus being unreleased, um, so they were already, like, on the outs with him anyway, and they were all probably already getting ready to replace him. But that night didn't help matters, and yeah, if you haven't listened to that, um, definitely go do so. Um, it's very informative, very entertaining, and I, 
I could listen to Dwayne talk for hours. I've listened to every interview that he's ever done, and it's just, I love it. I love listening to this guy. He says that um, he can babble your face off, and um, it's a good thing he doesn't drink coffee. Otherwise, um, he would just really be yapping his ass off, which, I mean, he does, but, like, I mean, it's it's cool, because, you know, I'm a big fan of Dwayne Bailey, and, um, you know, I don't think it's, I think it's treason that they didn't talk about him in the documentary at all, even though I swear they did, because, um, I swear I saw a documentary where there was text saying Dwayne Bailey was released from the band in 1994. Um, that may have been like um, an individual video or something like that, but yeah, I could be completely wrong in um, you know, saying all this. But yeah, this is just um, what I'm feeling. At least what I think is accurate. But again, I'm probably completely wrong. Because I've watched every Chicago documentary multiple times. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, none of them mentioned Dwayne Bailey. But I will still say that I could have sworn that he, they talked about him in at least one of them. I know they didn't. But, I still think that they did. So, yeah, and I have the same problem Dwayne does. I can yap my ass off. Oh! I saw that creeper over there. <clears throat> oh yeah, what I really think... Oh jeez, I'm not used to having so much space in my chest because I'm so used to using the barrels. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Um, wow, I literally cannot remember what I was saying. space in my chest because I'm so used to using the barrels. Okay, so I did some research and I discovered that um, there were a couple different reasons that Dwayne was um, booted from the band. Um, and not just from the night where, you know, that brawl happened, but, um, you know, obviously from the clothes he wore and that album being unreleased. Um, there was more to it than that. Um, it basically came down to the fact that he was dating Walt Perizader's daughter. And I don't know if it's accurate or not, but some people have said that... Um, there was one time he kept her, um, held her captive, and wouldn't let her leave. And I have no clue how accurate that is. That could be completely false, um, as far as I know. Um, but honestly, like, I have no clue, and I wish that they had, um you know, said something because, like, you know, really the only people, um, who, um, really talk about it are the fans. Because, like, the fans know. The fans know stuff. And, um, you know, I even saw a comment on, um, a video on a YouTube channel called the Dwayne Bailey Fan Page. 
that says, Oh, Dwayne, we know the reason why you were let go, and it wasn't because of your clothes or your playing, it was because you were boinking Walt's daughter. And I was just like, well, that's not a very nice way to say it. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I actually looked, I did my research, and I found a page where someone had said, maybe it's because he was boinking Walt's daughter. And I was just like, oh, jeez. And I'm like, that's not a really nice way to say it. And um, that was the only place I had seen that. And then I saw the comment on that interview of um, him with Ken Valdez. <clears throat> and so I was like, okay, so maybe this is the reason. So, yeah. It is something much more sinister. And, um, I mean, he was dating Walt's daughter, and, um, from what I heard, after they broke up, he lost his connection with the band, and, um, left. But, you know, when he got the call to join Chicago, he was so deep in his own band, he started his own band called Private Parts. Um, 80s kids may remember that band. And, um, you know, he'd been a, Dwayne had been a fan of Chicago from the very beginning. Like, he got the CTA album a couple weeks after it came out, and he gravitated to Terry Kath immediately. And, um, you know, he remembers exactly where he was the day Terry died, and, um, he'd gotten that news on the radio. And, um, he styled a lot of his playing after him, his Influence is definitely, one of them is definitely Terry Kath, and um, also Frank Zappa, Jimi Hendrix, and he's really not unique when it comes to those influences, because like everyone in those days were influenced by Terry Kath and um, Jimmy, and um, he was influenced by Terry Livgren, um, because he actually knew him. He grew up with him. No one really knew who he was until the mid-70s. <clears throat> so, I think it's pretty cool just, you know, hearing him talk about um, all of his influences because they are Ken they're Ken's influences, too. And those guys were kids, too, you know, when all that was happening. Um, you know, they were kids when... Um, you know, they were in their prime, and Dwayne came across them, you know? And he also went on to talk about, um, he actually got to meet, um, uh, who was it? He got to meet Roy Orbison, and, um, someone else. And, like I said, I've listened to this interview quite a bit so like I can definitely go on about it for hours and I really wish they hadn't cut down the interview to just one hour I'd like to listen to the whole three-hour interview <clears throat> but Dwayne even says that a lot of young people even now are very influenced by Harry Kath and Jimmy Page and Jimi Hendrix just as much as people like him were when it was happening in real time. And that's just insane to me. But, I mean, 25 or 6 to 4. That song, um... <laughs> I wasn't very impressed by it at first, but I mean, I have no problem listening to it. Especially when it's on Sirius XM, you know, I'm not going to pass off the opportunity to listen to some Chicago, even if it's not my favorite song. Um, it's still, like, it's Chicago, and that's, like, kind of all I know. Well, not really all I know. Um, you know, I really like the band America. But, um, yeah, like, Dwayne, um, he just, he loved the band from the start. He loved Robert Lamb. Um, he liked Jimmy Panko, 
and Bill Champlin, even like when he was um, with Sons of Champlin, um, he, he loves his stuff, and he really has a thing for Libra musicians, because like there's just like, uh, it's I don't know what it is, but he just absolutely loves playing with Libra musicians. Because he's a Libra himself, and Ken Valdez is too. And Ken Valdez has his own band also. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah. So anyways, I am going to hop off of here because I'm not really accomplishing much anymore. Um... And, uh, yeah, we've been going for about two hours now, and this is the second stream I've done today. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. And I will talk to y'all very soon.